My name's Aaron Croman here to teach you about Photoshop, and I'm going to teach you how to draw space. Space, space. So first I'm going to go to the color select tool, and I'm going to kind of make a, a dark blue. And I'm going to go to the fill tool, the paint bucket, and I'm going to fill it. Then I'm going to go back to the paintbrush tool, and I'm going to make it this black. And I'm going to go with the soft, round airbrush, make it a little bit bigger, and just kind of maybe even knock down the opacity a little, and just kind of make it all nebulous and dark. It's the darkness of space. Make some areas darker than others. Looking good so far. Then let's uh, make a little smaller one brush and then go full opacity and just just add some stars all around. Some of these are bigger. Photoshop is a very powerful tool for artists. Now I'm going to show you a technique to make your project even better. And make the brush a little smaller. And just add a little bit of twinkling stars. Make them twinkle. Don't have to do all of them, just select a few. And if you made those little long stars, you can kind of make it cover up it up with by doing this. And then zoom out. Okay, so now we have that. And you can just do this, but it's kind of boring if there's just nothing but stars. So of course we want maybe nice little planet. Let's go to the marquee tool and uh, let's hold it down, get the elliptical marquee. And hold down shift, make it nice, make it nice and round and kind of drag it wherever you want. I'm going to go to the color selection and uh, get a nice orange and use the paint bucket to fill it in. And maybe a little red. I'll use the brush. Just kind of make it look interesting. Whatever. Use a little blue. Have fun with it. Little curly cues. And why not just add a little bit of the yellow into it too. Okay, now that we've done that, let's just kind of use a little, little black. Let's knock down the opacity a bit. We can even make another layer. Uh, might be even better, just so you don't mess up this beautiful work of art this planet is. And you can just kind of shade it in, just slightly. That's the good thing about layers. It helps you preserve everything else that you've done. And now just goes to some white. Maybe it's a real shiny planet where the sun is hitting it. Maybe it's very close to the sun even. And then I'm going to go to select and invert the selection and I'm even going to knock down the opacity even more and just kind of give it a little glow around the planet. Where it's hitting the sun. OK, 
can even do that around the stars as well. And that is space. My name's Aaron Croman, and good luck with Photoshop.